According to a memo from Apple shared with MacRumors.com, Apple has informed their authorized service providers that sometime in the later portion of 2020, new Apple products will use an updated serial number system. We here at Techable wanted to talk about how this might affect Apple users in the near future. So what are serial numbers? For Mac products, they are an alphanumeric combination located somewhere on the product and internally in the device. When decoded, the number reveals certain characteristics of your device and gives it a unique identity for warranty and sales purposes. Think of it like a social security number that could also tell you how many kidneys you have. So why the change? Well, earliest speculation is that this is another effort by Apple to reduce fraud. Over the past few years, scammers have been stealing serial numbers to make use of the device's warranty and then flip any replacement devices for profit. Apple has developed hardware and apps for their service providers to better identify devices and combat scam artists. The new serial number string is likely another step in this process. However, concerns have been raised about the sequence being random. Without an identifiable pattern like what the current iterations have, it may be very difficult, if not impossible, for end users to personally gleam information about their device that is either obscured by Apple or lost to time. Your only option may be Apple's service providers, unless you have the means and know how to pick apart your device, and this is where things get complicated. In the US, we citizens are allowed to repair electronic devices that we own without infringing on copyright law, but an end user license agreement that you sign when you start up a device or buy it for the first time can supersede that. This is why the least charitable interpretation of these new serial numbers is Apple saying, sure, you can repair your device, but good luck figuring out what's inside. Is that the future? We'll have to see in the next few months. Knowing the information contained within your serial number can illuminate your device and helps lend to a more transparent marketplace. And it could save your computer. There's a lot of fake chargers on the market. You can check their authenticity via the serial number, so knowing this stuff is important. Let's look at an example of how you could decode a Mac device's serial number. You can find the number printed on your device, usually on the back. You might need to break out the microscope for something like a mouse or my scratched up iPod video. Provided they can turn on, you can also locate the serial number in your computer's Apple menu or in general settings for your smaller devices. Your serial number is going to look like this, a sequence of digits or letter variables. If your device was made before 2010, with a few exceptions, your number will be this top combination. Any devices made after that will use the lightly augmented bottom combination. The first variable identifies the manufacturing location. This tells you whether your device was made in China, China, or Cork, Ireland. The next variables are the year and week of manufacture, followed by a unique identifier, which separates your individual device from all others, and finally, a model number. So, say for the sake of argument, I have an old iPod Nano from the dinosaur days. The battery's got the lifespan of a radioactive fly, the hold button barely ever works, and the screen and casing are a bit scratched up. Worst of all, the headphone jack doesn't work. There's a treasure trove of music on here from my high school days, so I gotta get this thing fixed. Otherwise, I'm gonna miss out on stuff like George Benson as featured on the best smooth jazz ever. I mean, it's the best ever, it's gotta be a banger. The first value is two variables, which tells me this was made before 2010. We're all shocked. Those variables are YM. That means that this green booger was made in China. Following that are seven and 22. The next variables I'm gonna keep to myself. Don't steal George. But they tell me the make and model of this specific iPod. It is a second generation four gigabyte green iPod Nano, as well as singling out George here as my unique iPod. Now that I know the specifics of the iPod, I can look up parts to replace. And finally, take my music on the go. If figuring this stuff out yourself seems like a hassle, worry not. You can go to our website, techable.com, and look up your device using our serial number decoder. We will look up your device, giving you in-depth specs as well as our Textimate pricing guide for your device and parts. We have an ever-expanding catalog of parts for every MacBook ever. If your device needs a tune-up like old George here, we can repair it for you.
Thank you so much for watching. If this guide was helpful, please leave us a like or a comment. It really helps us out. And be sure to subscribe to Techable for more weekly Mac support. Thank you.